Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to our English lesson with me, Teacher Idayu. Today, we are going to learn about writing an opinion essay. Please open your pastel book, page 60. Your opinion is what you think. Pendapat atau pandangan, opinion, ialah apa yang awak fikir. Or, how you feel about something. Atau apa yang awak rasa tentang sesuatu tajuk atau perkara. Writing an opinion essay to say what you think about a subject. Untuk menyatakan apa yang awak fikir tentang sesuatu perkara. State what you believe. Menyatakan apa yang awak percaya. Give only your opinion. Menyatakan pendapat awak sendiri. The purpose of an opinion essay is tujuan penulisan opinion essay ialah to persuade the reader into agreeing with you untuk memujuk para pembaca supaya bersetuju dengan pendapat awak or at least recognizing that your opinion in an argument is valid atau sekurang-kurangnya mengiktiraf pendapat awak boleh diterima. An opinion essay made up of three basic parts. Opinion essay terdiri daripada tiga bahagian utama. Introduction, pengenalan. The main paragraphs, perenggan utama. And the conclusion, kesimpulan. Let's read an example of an opinion essay. Mari kita baca satu contoh opinion essay. Do you agree with the opinion in paragraph B or C? Adakah awak bersetuju dengan opinion atau pandangan pada perenggan B atau C? Will people ever live on the moon? Adakah manusia akan hidup di bulan? Many people like the idea of going on holiday to the moon. But will anyone actually live there in the future? Ramai orang okay, suka tentang idea untuk bercuti di bulan. Tapi adakah mungkin sesiapa akan tinggal di sana suatu hari nanti? Scientists have different opinions on this subject. Para saintis berbeza pendapat mengenai perkara ini. Paragraph B On the one hand, the number of people on earth is growing and we are destroying our natural environment. Pada satu pendapat atau pandangan, bilangan manusia di bumi semakin ramai dan kita sedang mempersenahkan alam sekitar. If we aren't careful, one day, we won't have any food or energy. Jika kita tidak berhati-hati, mungkin satu hari kita akan kehabisan makanan dan tenaga. If this happens, we will need to find a new place to live. Jika ini berlaku, kita perlu mencari tempat baru untuk tinggal. Paragraph C On the other hand, the moon isn't a very comfortable place for human beings. Sebaliknya, bulan bukanlah tempat yang selesa untuk manusia. There isn't any air or water and the temperature is too hot or too cold. Tidak ada udara atau air dan suhu di bulan juga terlalu panas dan terlalu sejuk. Maybe we will be able to improve conditions on the moon but it will be very difficult Mungkin kita boleh memperbaiki keadaan di bulan, tetapi ianya sangat sukar. Paragraph D. In conclusion, I don't think people will ever live on the moon. Sebagai kesimpulan, saya tidak fikir manusia akan boleh tinggal di bulan. In my opinion, the earth is a better place for human beings. Pada pendapat saya, Bumi ialah tempat yang lebih baik untuk manusia. Question 2. Look at the writing focus. Mari kita tengok writing focus. How do you say on the one hand and on the other hand in your language? Bagaimana 
Kita sebut on the one hand and on the other hand dalam bahasa kita. In an opinion essay, we can make the two possible opinions clear with the phrases on the one hand and on the other hand. Di dalam opinion essay, kita boleh menjelaskan dua pendapat ataupun dua pandangan yang berbeza menggunakan on the one hand and on the other hand. We often use them at the beginning of paragraphs. Biasanya kita gunakan di permulaan perenggan. On the one hand and on the other hand. These are formal linking words so they are going to sound great in your essay and in your presentations. These expressions are used to express two contrasting ideas. Ungkapan ini digunakan untuk menunjukkan dua idea yang berbeza. Idea atau pendapat atau pandangan yang berbeza. On the one hand, the number of people on earth is growing. Pada satu pendapat, bilangan manusia di bumi semakin ramai. On the other hand, the moon isn't a very comfortable place for human beings. Sebaliknya, bulan bukanlah tempat yang selesa untuk manusia. On the one hand, computers are already very intelligent. Pada satu pendapat, komputer memang sangat bijak. On the other hand, they haven't got feelings like human beings. Sebaliknya, komputer tidak memiliki perasaan seperti manusia. First thing we have to remember, when we put these expressions at the beginning of a sentence, we are going to follow them with a comma before we give the main sentence. Perkara pertama yang perlu kita ingat apabila kita menggunakan ungkapan ini di permulaan ayat, kita mesti meletakkan tanda koma selepasnya sebelum kita teruskan dengan ayat utama. The second thing we have to remember, if we use on the one hand, we must use on the other hand as well. Otherwise, to the reader, it's going to sound like we have got like a loose end that we have not tied up. Perkara kedua yang perlu kita ingat, jika kita gunakan on the one hand, kita juga perlu menggunakan on the other hand. Kalau tak, pembaca akan merasakan esi kita ni macam ada yang tergantung. The most common mistake is that using on the other hand to give additional information that does not contrast. Salah yang biasa digunakan ialah menggunakan on the other hand untuk menunjukkan perkara yang bukan berlawanan. Question 3. Look at the essay again. Mari kita tengok sekali lagi essay, opinion essay ni. In which paragraph does the writer? Pada perenggan mana penulis? 1. Give reasons why people probably won't live on the moon. Bagi sebab Kenapa manusia tidak boleh tinggal di bulan? 2. Give reasons why people might live on the moon. Bagi sebab kenapa manusia boleh tinggal di bulan. 3. Give a personal opinion on the subject. Memberi pandangan pribadi tentang subjek tersebut, iaitu tentang tajuk tersebut. 4. Ask a question. Mengajukan soalan. You are going to answer them as A or B or C or D. Let's listen to the audio once again. Will people ever live on the moon? Many people like the idea of going on holiday to the moon. But will anyone actually live there in the future? Scientists have different opinions on this subject. On the one hand, the number of people on Earth is growing and we are destroying our natural environment. If we aren't careful, one day we won't have any food or energy. If this happens, we will need to find a new place to live. On the other hand, the moon isn't a very comfortable place for human beings. 
there isn't any air or water, and the temperature is too hot or too cold. Maybe we will be able to improve conditions on the moon, but it will be very difficult. In conclusion, I don't think people will ever live on the moon. In my opinion, the Earth is a better place for human beings. That's the end of our lesson today. Thanks for watching. Salam alaikum.